Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will answer a question that was addressed to me in the previous uh, session, which was how to model the damage in the lamination problems and so using the peridynamic formulation. So please have a look into the channel and uh, also to this video, please subscribe if you have not done so and uh, let's get started. So now looking into the previous session, we explained how damage was actually introduced by uh, the, in the bond damage uh, part and then we could also ex uh, extrapolate this to the particle level using an average as as easy as it was uh, expressed in here. Yes, but now uh, let's say we have a material, let's say we have one material here, and then let's say we have another material here. These two blocks are each corresponding one material. Material uh, one, and then we have here material two. And we have clearly a division here and they are somehow glued these two materials how would i be able to express the damage in this type of problems and this is something that is quite interesting in peridynamics because the usual way is you have for instance particles in this side and also you have particles on this other side What one way of approaching this kind of problems, this kind of situations, is like you define here this interface, and you define you make such that the bonds that are crossing this interface, for instance, let's say this particle, you want to measure the damage in this particle here, and you have uh, you have bonds coming from here, from this side of the material but also bonds that are coming from the other side of the material, right? So you have bonds from material I and bonds from this other material B. So one way of addressing this are to have a different material law for bonds that are located in this side and bonds that are crossing to this other interface. How would you do that? So Last time, we said that for a material, if we follow the stretch of the material, the bond force, it will increase and then it will start, uh, it will drop to zero. Uh, when, and meaning that this bond was totally broken. So you could say that, let's say that you want this interface of the material to behave using a different law. And this different law, we could establish, for instance, something like this, following the same configuration and then suddenly dropping as it is displayed in here. So what does this mean? This is actually called a bilinear law in peridynamics, bilinear damage law. And the reason why it is called like this is because you have an initial line here when the, where the stretch is growing and the force is growing as well. But here at this point, the bond force, when the stretch reaches this point, the bond force starts to, uh, starts to decrease. So this bond force, but, but doesn't drop totally as it was previously shown in here, but rather the force starts to drop in a um, very um, slowly manner. Yeah. 
so in some way like inducing some plasticity into the into the material let's call it like that so you could say for instance that these two bonds could behave as it in as in this manner using this bilinear law whereas these other three bonds here would behave using the damage law that we previously mentioned so this would be one way of uh, simulating uh, this interface between one material and the other eventually the damage would be also computed as as it is in here the important part here is that in this graph we look remember that we are looking at how how the force became be, behaves right so if we used the original configuration the damage would be either equal to one or damage would be either equal also to zero because damage would be zero here and then would be one from here right but in this case you would have to define here a critical stretch in which the damage for instance here it would be zero but then the damage would start to uh, increase right but but it would start eventually to increase reaching one only until this point here yes so the stretch continues here but the damage would be reaching only one in here as opposed to the other one so in this in during this curve uh, let's say here it would be 0 0.1 here the damage would be 0 0.2 here it would be 0 0.3 three and so on until eventually it reached one so you would have to figure a way to implement this damage uh, this increasing damage after reaching this initial configuration s zero yes why would you do that well this way you would have to do it if you want to implement the damage using the the current configuration of peridigm in which you have uh, the damage inside the folder uh, and then it will go to compute the material force otherwise you could directly employ this diagram here in which rather than computing first the damage and then the force you would straightforward start with the force computation and then just start dropping is dropping it as it was uh, explained in here uh, with corresponding uh, values uh, according to the to the stretch that is is being computed so let's say if the stretch here it's uh, has already passed the critical stretch uh, that was pre initially defined in here and this uh, is in between this uh, this it, it's located in this position then the first the stretch the force would be a specific percentage of the real force that would be otherwise located in here right whereas if the stretch is now in this side uh, it would mean that the force would be an, a percentage a less percentage lesser percentage than the original force that would be displayed in here and so on so you would have to figure out also this uh, relation but anyway the important thing is to mention is that you would have two different types of materials and you would have to define this clear interface and more importantly also um, define how these uh, these interactions of the bonds 
and that are crossing between one material block and the other uh, in order to apply a different damage law to only this particular set yes so i hope you really like this video i was and i was clear enough please let me know your comments and subscribe to the channel if you have not done it so far and see you next time all right goodbye